What is up everybody, Dr. Bob's from the Ready Nation here today to play some Puzzle Pirates. So sorry I haven't been uh, consistent uploading, it's just because I've had a lot of other things to do. I've been really busy, but hopefully, hopefully, I can start doing at least once a week, if not more. I do live stream on my Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash 4Q underscore gaming. I do live stream there, not a lot of people know about it, I'll leave it in the description below, but... Yeah, to just today, it's Christmas, so yeah, Merry Christmas to everybody. And remember I said I was going to do 1 million po giveaway? Well, basically, what I'm going to do is I have things worth 1 million po. And what, what I have here is I have deeds to ships. I thought this would be more fair on other people, so more people have a chance in it. Basically, I'm going to be even a vampire sloop, a phantom class sloop, a... Blizzard? Yeah, Blizzard class sloop. And I also have a junk to give out, which is stocked. So it's stocked with a load of stuff, and it's worth about 175k, that. The uh, Alley Blizzard is worth about 150, 200k. So that's, what, 400k there, say. And then there's the the Vampire sloop, which is worth about 2 250. So that's about 650 with this, and that's about 900k. So then I might do give away a couple of other things as well just bits and pieces but i'm not sure how to do the giveaway what i might do is whoever comments down below will basically be entered into a tournament and the tournament is for the well i'll do the tournament i'll do a poker tournament and it'll be for the junk which i plan on doing anyway and i'm not sure when that be so keep updated and i'll put a date in the comment section when i will actually do it so for the junk where's the junk because they've, they've updated this now, and it's got, like, little pits at the side. So here's the junk, successful place, and that's got stock on it. So whoever wins the poker tournament will be there. And, yeah, just comment below if you want to be in the com uh, poker tournament. There will be about 20 entries, so, yeah, just... I'm going to get uh, send people this video so they can comment below and enter. And as I say, there'll be 20 places. It'll be 200 po buy-ins, so that's... 4k over everybody and then the winner obviously will end up with 4k there's no rebuys the winner will end up with 4k and the 4k they trade me and i'll trade them the junk and then for the other things i'm still thinking of some but comment below and you'll all get a chance in it anyway and i don't know whether to do it in tournaments yet so like i say just comment below <laughs> all this commenting below and soon i'll be doing this tournament so i'm hoping to enter this and do well but my buddy Admiral wants to sword fight against me, so I think we should do this. Okay, let's tell him that the sword fight's gonna be up. Uh, sword fight up. And let's create the table. Let's hope, hope he joins. Oh, I didn't put Merry Christmas in time. <laughs> right, so we've got my buddy Admiral here. We'll sword fight him. I've been doing really bad at sword fight recently. I mean, I I'm trying to improve my speed and improve how I sword fight. But I think what I do is I try and build too big all the time. So, like, most of the time, I'll try to go for big builds. And it just does not work out with all people. Because some people are slow. They'll take their time to build. But, as you can see, Admiral, he he's pretty fast at the uh, strikes. So, he's sending small strikes to me. Obviously, they're messing me up a little bit. So, what I like to do is I like to put some breakers at the sides. Just, just to be sure that I'll be able to break out uh, in the long run. And I've messed this up totally. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he's, I think he's going to win this by, like, miles. Uh, it's debatable. It depends what it gives me, really. If it's going to give me... Yes, it gave me the yellow. So, because it gave me the yellow, I can do this now. That's a nice triple. Very nice triple there. Ooh, that had an impact on him. That had an impact. Hey, look at that. Good game. <laughs> sorry, man. Ah, sorry. I'm just going to smile. I don't know what else to do. Should we have a rematch? Oh. I don't know if he wants a rematch or not. I will put my thing on the board anyway. If he wants another rematch. Ah, he's got to go. Okay. Oopsie. <laughs> Let's get into it and have a sword fight. 
God. <laughs> I made him lose his Grandmaster, which is not... Oh, this person I fought earlier is not too good, but I've got a feeling it's somebody's ult, and I cannot figure out whose ult it is. I really cannot. He's got a nice sword. He's a greenie. So uh, uh, this is why I think he's an ult. Look how fast he's building. See that? So I'm, I'm going to just like stay behind a little bit. Build a little bit slower. So I've got a bit of a back plan that I can use. So he's already built his. So I can't, I've got not much more to do but to just unleash that bingo on him. Because if I didn't unleash the bingo, he would have probably murdered me <laughs> there and then. Oh, he's murdering me even more now. But these are just sheets of sprinkles, though, I'm sure. I'm sure these are sheets of sprinkles. Right. If we can get a red. Yeah, we'll do the red. Do the green. Should give us a nice double there. Ah. He's got us. He, he knows how to sword fight well. And I, I'm still trying to figure out whose ult he is. It's got to be somebody's. You know, comment below with the name of the alt. But he plays very well for an apparent newbie. Ah, I can't remember his drop pattern of his sword. I'm gonna risk it. Nope. No, not giving me any breakers. So I'm just gonna die there, and then it didn't give me any breakers after that. So I would have been dead anyway. He already said good game. All right, good game. Ah, well. Good game to him. So, I reckon we can go and play some poker if there's any tables. This or this one. We'll take the second one because there's two people watching that. So, we've got 50k. Let's see whose ass we can kick. We're going to try and get up to 200k so I can get, do a 100k giveaway. If I don't win, I don't win. If I win, then I can do a 200k giveaway. Ooh, full house. Go on. Nice hand. So let's get into this. First hand, and we get a king of hearts and a seven of hearts. See, hands like this, I'm always unsure to call or to raise. I don't know. I'm not a good poker player. I just go by what 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 I think. See, this raise is just a normal raise. If I had po, I'd call that gladly. But I'm gonna call it anyway. You know, just just because I can. Uh, there's nothing stopping me from calling. I've not really played poker with any of these. Fire Boss and Wrestling God, I believe I have. And they are decent players. But the rest I've not played poker with, so I'm not sure of their styles. Hmm, see, it's giving me a pretty bad flop. So, I'll just check that. He's going to raise, isn't he? Go on, raise 14k. F 14k. No? I'm going to raise? Ah, okay. Fire Boss, what's, what's he going to do? 10k. No. I've not. No flush. There's <laughs> spades on the board. He's got something. I had a feeling he was going to raise. He's got two spades? No. Six and a ten. Fair play to him. Two, two, two of a kind. Two pair, even not two of a kind. <laughs> two of a kind. What, what am I talking? No, uh, two pair. So I've just down 40k from that one. Oh, <laughs> second hand. Pocket rocket. Let's go. I've lost more times on this hand than I've won, though, so I, I just got no hope. <laughs> Pocket Rocket. I should have just played it out, really, but I've got a feeling one of these is going to call anyway. If they don't, then I've made 3k. If they do, then I've got a risk of winning or losing. There, there's Fireboss called. More Martini. Got a call. Fold. No, fold. Right, what's he got? King 3. Well, that's my win. 75k. Coming my way. All day. Yay. <laughs> yes. 75k. We've already got up 25k. Pocket rockets. Ace of the five. You can have it. I don't want nothing to do with this hand. Come on. It takes so long to do their hands. So long to do their hands. Don't know what I'm gonna do. Boop, boop, boop. So anyway, I hope everyone's having a Merry Christmas and everyone got what they wanted for Christmas. I don't know what everyone else did, but for me, 
I just went to my nan's, had some Christmas dinner. I put some presents up. Didn't really get a lot, but you know, I got some nice things. No, I got I got things that I wanted. I got a some speakers, some water speakers. I got some money and you know some some bits and pieces that are really cool. And I hope you got everything you wanted, guys. Along with this puzzle part, it's giveaway that I'll be doing. So good luck on that. I might do a, I'm not sure whether to do a random name generator yet. Ooh, we need a three. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure whether to do a random name generator or to put in tournaments or what because it just it's, it's a hard thing to do with tournaments. Like if I do a tournament, obviously all the ultimates will join, and the less experienced people won't have a chance. But if I do it any other way, then people have an equal chance. Like if I did it with a random name generator. Or if I just did it, if I just did a giveaway and just chose some people, but I just want it to be really random and just whoever wins, wins, really. There's a queen in NA, I'll, I'll call that, it's off suit. Not, not going to call anything more than this 2k though. So, if you play Puzzle Pirates on the Meridian Ocean, I've played quite a lot now, I've been getting back into it. The reason why I did this video, I did try and record other videos. I've got one, but the audio just totally messed up on it. I may release it soon, but I'm not sure whether to release it or not uh, yet. Because Puzzle Pirates is just going down now. With, like, less and less people playing it daily. And I just really want more people to come play this. And it'd be really fun to play with you guys. We'll go Pillage, Team Monster Hunting. Yeah, I've not been on any Atlantis recently. I really wanted to, but... There's no Atlantis going. But one, one good thing, guys. The last video was bilging. And I actually proved quite a lot of my bilging. I don't know how I didn't get it before. It's so simple. Even, like, my nan could probably do it. You know? Anyone could do it. It's just so easy. So what we're going to get... Let's take a look. Jack 3. See, I like this hand. I like Jack 3. But it's, it's a bad hand. Which is why I'm gonna fold. Do you like Jack 3 though? I have to admit. See what I mean? Jack 7, 5, and a 3 will probably come up on the uh, turn card. Ooh, look at that raise. 166k! He's got three of a kind or something. He must have. There's no way you'll raise that much. A7. Three sevens. So he had a pair of sevens and he went all in. Is he crazy? Those jacks will win up until the flop. Crazy be ooh, seven nine. So I can get a good connector with seven nine. They're a bit of a random suit though, so I might not be able to get a flush connector, but they are decent cards for getting straights. Ooh! -hoo -hoo! I've hit three of a kind. But this is in a bad situation because I've got a pretty low kicker card, which is the seven. Hmm. What to do here? Just gonna bet six k. Let's bet six. I don't think anyone's gonna call anyway. They're all gonna fold, aren't they? And it'll be a waste of freaking. Well, made some money. Doesn't bother me. Really doesn't. So if anyone else plays Puzzle Pirates, please uh, share your channels below because I really want to check out some Puzzle Pirate channels. Not a lot of people upload it nowadays. I mean, I search Puzzle Pirates. And change it to the most recent, and there's just not a lot going around. And the ones that are going around don't have commentary, and I like to hear commentary, see what people uh, say. Just it just adds more to the video, as like you're there and not just watching something. I mean, tutorials on rigging and stuff. When text comes up on screen, that's fine. Like just tutorials on stats, but when it's like a let's play. You really need audio, or, or something there, like, music's okay, I guess, but I'm gonna stop rambling on about it now, <laughs> so I need the king for the, flu uh, for the flush, for the straight, and we're gonna get it. Well, that was fun, I've got nothing, I just feel like, just feel like raising loads for no reason. Right, who's got it then? Who's got the kings? Yeah, a pair of threes, wouldn't it? Wow. Q 
queen, three. I see a queen, I'm like, yes, queen. And then and you see you see your second card and you're just like, wow, wow. Can it give me anything worse? Got anything either. He's probably got a pair. Wow. She was waiting for the flush and he had a pair of aces. So he's waiting for the three. Ten and an ace. You know what? I can't be bothered to poker no more. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. I can't, I can't. My attention just not on poker nowadays. I don't know why. I just can't sit here for a long amount of time. She's got pocket something. I believe she's probably got jacks. Or pocket something like that. Anyone else going to call? Any more for any more? Any more for any more? Shouting any more for any more? So I'll show you how good I've got at building now. Oh, God. Someone else is called. She's not going to call as well, is she? The more people that call, the le least safe I feel. Ace 10. I've got it! Ace 10! <laughs> what? What the? I... Oh. What? I won! <laughs> oh my god. That was epic! We was just there, going all in with Ace 10! And a one. Wow. That just shows how bad cards can get you somewhere. Like, let's see how I'll do with this eight and a six. Oh, screw it. It's cool. I'm going to do that with, with an ace ten. No, no, no pair. No nothing. Just, just, just ace ten. Oh, a pair of sixes. You know, I'm just going to check because I don't, I don't think I'm going to get anything else out of this. Pair of sixes so far. There's another nine. I don't feel safe at this hand at all. She hasn't got anything. Cause she's just left. Hey, that's cool. I don't think he's got anything. I don't think he's got a nine. Or he has got a nine. Do you reckon, do you reckon he's got the nine, hasn't he? No! Oh! 304k! All this from 50k! So now I can do a giveaway. I'm going to give away 100k. You know, I'm, I'm going to be nice, generous. I'm going to give away 100k. First person to send me a tell with... I won 100k. I won 100k, okay? Just send me that tell. When you watch this video and you see this part, if you even get up to this part, and, put, and say, I won 100k. And I will give you the 100k, okay? So, uh, this is pretty far into the video. Don't know if you're still watching, guys. But whoever is the lucky person is going to get 100k. Because I'm cashing out after this hand. So, if there's any more bets, I'm just going to fold. And then I'm going to cash out. Alright, I'm done. Like I say, congrats to the lucky person. Whoever comments below with their net. Well, not comment below. Whoever sends me a towel. Obviously, I've got to be online, so if you catch me online, just remember to send me a towel. Normally, I'm chilling around, so I'm going to go and put the 100k in my coffers for the person who wins it. So that's 100k in there. Like I say, anyone who sends me a towel will get that 100k. And if it's giveaway, I'll put <laughs> Do you like my... Do you like my... Uh... Did drawings there? They were epic, right? Copy and paste it on. Let me let me just show you how I can build now. I mean, I've not got the full thing down, but I've got a good idea how it works. Um, comment below if you can help me anymore. Uh, there's a lot of commenting below. <laughs> I know. But yeah, anyone who comments below as well that plays Puzzle Pirates, just leave your pirate name as well. I, I had you as a party. Well, that was good timing. So we've hit the league point. Right, so building. Tips on building, guys. What I've found out is that if you break every time, you seem to always at least get a fine. But if I break every time, I normally at least get a good. That's that's from experience. I'll, I'll show you anyway. So as you can see, my indicator is yellow. I could probably do so much more with this. See what I mean? Oh, I just messed that one up. <laughs> but yeah, I could probably do so much more. I'm not, I'm not the best build, uh, builder in the world. I'm just a... I'd say I'm just e like an okay builder. 
And I've still got, I've got renowned. I mean, it didn't take me very long to get renowned. As long as you break every time, you are pretty much guaranteed to get a good. As long as you don't move any other pieces. I mean, you might, you might flinch and move pieces. I do that quite a lot. But if, if you stay like this and just slowly go through it. There we go, another bingo there. So you can see I've improved quite a lot if you've watched my old videos. Yeah, you, you can just tell. But my main tip to do is just go for 3x3s three three at the least. But don't, like, try and make a 3x3 three by, three by using too many moves. Use about 2-3 to three moves, maybe. Maybe 2 at the most to do a 3x3. Three three. And to do anything else, use around 5 moves to get a bingo. And so on and so on. You, you can just experiment with the, the different ways anyway. And as you see, I got good. I only got on a little bit into the station. And I can guarantee if I keep this up, I'll get an excellent next league. And as long as you keep breaking, you'll get an excellent, like, quite often. And that's probably not the best tips. I've probably got it wrong. But it works for me, so that's why I use it. So if you, you're having trouble with bilging, that might help you out. See what I mean? I don't use more than two moves to get a 3x3 three three because it's just not worth it. It, it. it ruins your scoring by quite a lot. So there we go. Look, 3x3. Three three. I did it without even moving my piece. There's another 3x3. Three three. That's three moves, but, you know, uh, just he balance it out. You, you'll get to know it. Um, my buddy May, he's a really good builder. I'm going to leave his link in the description below as well. See, let's... Uh, Screw it. I was going to see if I could build anything bigger, but I literally big builds I could not do. Smaller builds I can do fine. So, like three by fours, bingos, I can see. But anything bigger, my eyes just go funny. I, I swear, like, I don't know why. So, there we go. I used about five moves to get that bingo. It's pretty simple. And I, I've not hit an incredible on this because obviously my tips are probably not the best you could ever get. I'm not going to try go for the bingo there. It's just not worth it. Uh, just eat, balance it out. Make make things worth it. So if if, if you want to build a 3x3 three three and you think it's going to be uh, affected to your scoring, build it. But you, you'll see an increase of easy scoring when you go onto the harder boards. Because at the minute, when, when I go into a station, it always starts off on the lower boards. And you'll also see an increase. See, I've got an excellent there. High excellent. You'll see an increase when the build is high as well. You'll get a lot more jellyfish, and it's a lot easier to build. I'll, I'll admit that. So as you can see, I'm running out of moves now. And here we go. And this video will be rendered today. So if you're watching this, hello to you all. And as I said before, hope you've had a nice Christmas. I certainly have. I've got everything that I wanted. And it's been, it's been a, just a really chilled out Christmas. If you own an Xbox One as well, feel free to add me on Xbox One. The Xbox Live servers are going through some stress and pain. Apparently they're being hacked and uh, apparently they were supposed to take the servers offline. Like this this squad called the Liz Lizard Squad. Well, they were supposed to, but I don't think that'll happen. See, this, this is the bigger boards now. This is where... I start slowing down personally. I don't know if you guys know any tips on the bigger boards, but I'd really need some help on these because I literally, I with this many colours, it, it just confuses me. <laughs> I really can't do it like more as efficient as a wood, um, a smaller board. I, I always use my jellyfish straight away, which is a bad thing to do. You should really keep those until you need them, until there's literally nothing left to do. So, if you're a really good builder, I'm sorry, you, I've got to put you through the pain of this. <laughs> you're probably like, oh, I could have done that, like, donkey there or something. Oh, I just I just can't see them. I admit to you. See, I, I just misclicked and swapped a piece. As long as you keep it consistent, keep a good flow going, you should be fine with this. There's another excellent. If I keep this up, I'm just going to get more and more excellents. Never hit an incredible, so first time I ever hit an incredible, it will be my day. That day's yet to come. I've not hit an incredible at any stats, even patching. I'm a, I'm a legendary patcher, and I have not hit leg. 
I mean, I mean, I've hit legendary, but I've not hit an incredible. Then where's the logic in that? There really isn't none. I see people with able stats, which really annoy me, and they they like they have incredibles. How is it possible for them to be that good to get an incredible, but only have able at the stat? I understand if they're alts, but seriously, I see all these players playing. And I know a few people that have got Incredibles, and they are, like, able at a stat, and I'm just like, no. That that should not be you. That should be me getting that Incredible. But, you know, it's all fair enough. I'm, I'm not the best at any of these puzzles, I'll admit. Even though the Indicator's gone down, like, loads, I'll, I'll still probably get an Excellent from this. More than likely, or at least a good. See, it's gone back up. The, the, the Indicator goes crazy on Bilge. It's the most weirdest indicator I've probably saw in the whole game. So we've got one of these here. We can make that. Do oh, we've got another jellyfish. Nice. I'm going to keep that one for a little while. Yeah, let's do it with those. See if we can get anything decent. Really get anything. <laughs> right, there's a 3x4. Nice. I probably just missed out on something big because I did see a lot of colour there. Where else we got? Oh, God. We're at the island now, anyway. So, we've got another excellent. That was three excellents in a row. And that's how much I've improved on Bilgin. So, yeah. I'm going to think of some ways I can give out some Poe. As I say, the first person who sent me a towel will win. And I'll comment. But I'll comment when the person's claimed it. This video will be out soon. It's Christmas. It'll probably be out 9pm UK time at the latest. I'm hoping. But, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this episode. More to come soon. I hope to do so much more. Stay tuned for this giveaway. Just comment below with your names. And you will probably be entered into the junk competition. Like I say, I've got that to give away. I'll probably give away a few of these things. I don't use them. They're just uh, cracking things like the cracking clock. I'll probably give it, end up giving that away. So anyway, guys, comment below with things you want to see. Because I do want to start doing more of these. But I just need some ideas. If it's just general playthroughs like I've been doing. Then comment below. But... Yeah, hope you've enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe. Stay frosty and peace.